Okay, so let's see, say that uh, we're ready to uh, record our first journal entry. So we'll log into SAP and we receive our little message that says we're logging in <coughs> from University of Mississippi account and we get our main menu and recall you may have this menu pop up when you first log in which is the user menu we want to use the standard SAP menu so we're going to go into accounting financial accounting general ledger posting enter GL account document and you'll remember when we turned on the technical names we can see that the shortcut for that screen is FB50. So let's say I just logged on and I remember um, you know, I've done 10 of my drill entries and I still have some more to go. I could just go up here, type in FB50, press enter, and I get my journal entry screen. Okay. Now, hopefully, you've got your uh, beginning balances set up. If you haven't, then uh, it's easy enough to do. Just um, uh, put those in as a journal entry for 1 1 2007. Now, I've already done that, so we're going to go and go ahead and uh, move to the next journal entry, uh, which is. Uh, the wages paid uh, that we paid out on January 2nd. So January 2, 2007. And we want that to be our document date and our posting date. So I will type that in here as well. 1, 2, 2007. And I'm going to give it a reference number of 1. Uh, which happens to be the business event uh, that we uh, that was noted in our uh, uh, various events in the assignment. Okay, and that's all we need really uh, for the GL, the header detail. And the reference can be anything you need. Uh, but when I set up my beginning balances, I just typed in B-E-G-B-A-L-L here to let um, me know when I look at it later that this is a journal entry I set up my beginning balances in. Okay, so we go down to the uh, line item portion of the screen and for this first journal entry I'm going to debit accrued wages payable which is 2002. Debit, I just typed in a D and debit came up so I can just tab right to the next field and it's 20,400. Now one nice thing is you can see we have a lot of fields there. Uh, the location, the local currency amount uh, would be if I were running uh, multinational with uh, running in uh, multi, multiple currencies, you know, I could uh, post my entry in the currency of the transaction and have it automatically converted to my uh, local currency for uh, whatever um, subsidiary I was posting to at that point in time and then there's a tax field, tax jurisdiction and a whole variety of fields over here to the right. Business partner, uh, partner segment, but we don't need all these for uh, these particular journal entries so if you just press the enter key SAP will, well first I'm going to get uh, an error message uh, that pops up that says this posting takes place in a previous fiscal year which is fine so we'll click through that period 10 adjusted in line with posting date 1 2 2007 I'll click through that again and now it brings me back to um, the screen I was working on so uh, we will click through those messages each time um, typically you're only going to have the current period open uh, in this case it would be September or October 2010 um, but uh, for education purposes this system is uh, open pretty wide up uh, so that we can post to uh, periods in the past as well uh, so keep that in mind make sure you're posting to the appropriate January period in 2007 for your journal entries okay so our debit was to um, accrued wages payable and we're going to credit 
cash, twenty thousand four hundred. Press enter, and you can see every time I press enter, or SAP goes out and looks things up, and I can see that I have my cash there. It uh, checks the entry to say, okay, it's checked that line and everything looks okay. Also, you can see my green light up here um, shows me that the transaction is balanced. I've got an equal amount for debits and credits. So you've got a little uh, scoreboard up there that you can keep track of while you're making your entry. So once we're done, uh, this is a two-line journal entry, so we're done and we're ready to post. And the easy way to post there is just click right up there on the post icon, which looks like a little diskette. Uh, control F, Control S, you can see, is the uh, keyboard shortcut, uh, Control Save, that's the save shortcut. And uh, that will let you uh, save the document. One thing to uh, keep in mind, you don't want to uh, park it. If you park the document, uh, that means it goes into suspense. Basically, it's something if you uh, have a, an entry that you want to make, but you uh, uh, just want to clarify it or, or verify it before you actually post it. You may want to go uh, run it past your supervisor. You can enter all of the detail in and park it, and that way you can come back and make corrections to the entry if you need to. You know, typically you'll see things like that uh, for unusual transactions, maybe, uh, or for a, a, an adjusting entry. You just want to make sure that um, you've got the right uh, accruals in place or the right uh, reserves. You're setting up the right reserves. But in this case, uh, pretty simple entry. We know we, uh, we're comfortable with it. Again, down here, you can uh, expand and contract these uh, columns, uh, much like you would in Excel, to uh, see more information. Since we're only using a few of these fields, um, it makes sense to uh, spread it out and make it a little bit easier to read. All right, so we go ahead and post it. And you can see SAP spins its wheels for a minute. And then down here, we'll see document number one, a bunch of zeros, one was posted in company code 8079, which happens to be the uh, company I'm uh, working with. And I can double click on that message and get some more detail. Anytime you see a message down here in your status line, uh, you can double click on it and get more information on it if you need to, especially if you see an error message or, or uh, uh, something unusual that you want to uh, uh, consider. So here's the uh, message that pops up, nothing uh, spectacular here, but uh, it does uh, verify the message and uh, especially for error checking or if, uh, if you're running into problems, it's a good idea to pop up this error message and then cut and paste it into an email that you might want to send me or to a, a notepad document that you want to save and review for later. So anyway, that's it for uh, posting uh, your journal entries. Good luck and um, hopefully they go smoothly for you.